say in our family, we don't believe in homosexuality. Right. Or we don't believe in masturbation, whatever that is. And, and that is a faith choice on our part, a value set. That allows anyone to to explore why would my faith define it that way, and and why would my family also have that value, and to understand it as a value versus thinking when you say something like homosexuality is a sin, it it eliminates the opportunity to explore it as a value, mm-hmm. and and it 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 that's what crushes people. That's yeah. what puts people. That's what puts people on the side of a bridge, ready to jump, because they they don't see themselves as being able to be able to live and have that truth about themselves. Right. That can be different than the truth that their parents had, because it's just based on a set of facts and experiences and choices that they made about their religion. It's not the truth. But if you but, agree- but here's what always blows my mind and this is where it gets mixed up is I will have some people come and say I'm not going to come to the second class because you're going to talk about birth control and I'm like okay birth control is a fact that's like saying I'm not going to come because you're going to say the word penis penises are real you know what I mean like they exist so does birth control now you can say to your family our family chooses not to use or believe in the choice of using birth control but the fact that i am going to be saying it as a fact you're missing out on an opportunity to describe your own value right does that make sense yeah because you can say we we want you to abstain we want you to abstain still go to this event because you should just know the facts whether you choose right i'm going to tell you the facts and then you can turn to your kids right there and then if you want and write it into their write it right across their arm do not ever, you know, we don't believe in using birth control, whatever you want, but they need to know when it gets brought up in the parking lot, they can go birth control. I know what that is. Right. Our family doesn't believe in that. Right. But it's way different than going birth control. What's that? That's a sin. And yeah. it's not for, you know, it's just everything about it. That is a bummer for me. Right. Yeah. There's no transformation opportunity there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and parents honestly lose lose a really wonderful moment. Yeah. Well, okay, like, so for example, I may hear about crack cocaine. And crack cocaine all, it has all these awful effects. Even though I'm not condoning doing crack cocaine to my kid. Right. I still want them to know if you ever see crack cocaine and someone at a party doling this out here's the like awful things that could happen if you take crack cocaine right so it's kind of the uh, to me it's the same thing it's a it is it is crack cocaine is going to be bad for you and here's why and you should at least know or or, you know not that it's not exactly a parallel but it is in the sense that you just give them the information and have them choose and tell them what you prefer for them to do. I don't want you to ever smoke crack cocaine or heroin and here's why and here's why It means so much to me that you're listening to the show and would love your support in any way by giving me comments below or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support. Love and blessings.